Looking to go on a Midwestern road trip of a lifetime? Worry not, dauntless road tripper, we have got you covered. The Great River Road offers one of the best road trip opportunities in the entire United States. And if you're in the Minnesota, Wisconsin area of the Midwest, or just visiting, you might want to check out some of the places we mention in this video. We've gathered an amazing list of places you can visit on your next road trip, and trust me, you don't want to miss out on any of these. Hi, I'm James, and before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Via Travelers YouTube channel for more videos like this. Now, let's begin. Your journey will begin in Minneapolis, Minnesota's largest city. From there, you'll take the I-10 and make your way towards the Maiden Rock State Natural Area, your first pit stop on this road trip. This is a gorgeous area with incredible views of the Mississippi River and Lake Pepin. It's also home to an impressive 400 foot tall limestone cliff, which extends for nearly a mile. At Maiden Rock State Natural Area, you'll find all sorts of rare plants and animal species. On top of that, it's a bird watcher's paradise. And if you happen to be there during the right time of the year, you might just encounter the super rare peregrine falcons, which regularly visit this area during migration. Aside from the peregrine falcons, there are a lot of other rare bird species that stop by here during the spring and the fall. This protected area also has a lot of hiking trails that aren't too hard to climb, and we highly recommend you do go hiking here because the views and the end are definitely worth it. Also, if you just need to relax and enjoy the scenery, there are a few vineyards around the area that will give you some of the best wine you've quaffed in your life. Another great location you might want to visit on your Great River Road Trip is the Nelson Trevino Bottoms State Natural Area. This is located right on the boundary between Minnesota and Wisconsin, and it's home to the Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge. The best way to describe this place is untouched. Most tourists have never even heard of the place, and depending on the time of your visit, you'll barely see anyone else exploring this hidden gem. This is truly the perfect area for you to enjoy the best of every season. Whether it's the white winter, the budding spring, the verdant summer, or the fireworks display that is fall, the dense forest around this area changes its colors of every season, which makes it the perfect Instagram opportunity year round. On top of that, there are no camping fees, so you can make camp wherever you want to. There's also a canoe trail in this area, which is great to just grab a beer and go fishing in your little boat. But if you ask us, the best thing to do in Nelson Trevino Bottom State Natural Area is not to plan anything and just go exploring. You'll find all kinds of rare plants and animal species, along with some secret spots that locals won't tell you about. For you non-Minnesotans, and for all I know, maybe one or two actual Minnesotans, Wabasha, Minnesota is a town you've probably never heard of in your life. After all, there are only around 2,000 people that call this tiny town home. But that doesn't mean you can't have a lot of fun here. This town actually has a thriving tourism industry, the main attraction being the National Eagle Center. It's one of the few places in the United States where you can easily get a view of the majestic bald eagle in all of its glory. There are numerous observation decks in the Eagle Center, along with a museum dedicated to this beloved bird. It's a must visit if you're visiting with kids, or if you're just feeling a little extra patriotic. But there's more to this town than just the National Eagle Center. Wabasha, Minnesota has plenty of yearly festivals that are made for tourists. There's the Grumpy Old Men Festival every winter, the Watermelon Festival after Labor Day, and the Riverboat Festival at the end of the year. Odds are, if you're going to be visiting this town, there will always be some sort of cute festival happening. There are also several top hotels here, so if you need a break during your road trip, this is the town to do so. Minnesota's Lake City is really more of a small town than a city, with a population of just over 5,000 people. Like a lot of other attractions on this list, Lake City is a lakeside town, sitting on the shores of Lake Pepin, and it's definitely a town you're gonna want to visit on your road trip. Every winter, Lake Pepin almost completely freezes over, and it's a really beautiful sight to see with a lot of winter sports activities taking place on or around the lake. During the summers, Lake City is pretty much a water sport wonderland, with jet skiing, sailing, water skiing, fishing, and all sorts of other activities to enjoy. If you want to visit Lake City when it's at its most beautiful point, you have to visit in early fall, because there's nothing like seeing the trees explode with shades of yellow, orange, and scarlet red. Overall, it's so small that it's easy to miss Lake City, 
but you're definitely going to miss out on a lot of fun if you decide to skip it. If there's one nature spot that you absolutely cannot miss during your Great River Road Trip, it's the Frontenac State Park. This has been a popular spot for Minnesotans since the early 19th century, and it's home to some of the most beautiful sights in the entire Midwest. The best time to be here is probably the fall, since it's pretty much the perfect spot to watch all the maple leaves turn red. But it's still a sight to see during all of the other seasons as well. It's a camper's paradise. Although camping isn't free and you'll probably have to book in advance, there are around 58 designated camping sites to choose from. Frontenac State Park overlooks Lake Pepin as well, and it's a great spot to catch all sorts of fish like walleye, northern pike, and channel catfish. So if you're a fishing enthusiast, this is a spot you have to visit. This place is also a sort of winter wonderland every winter, so if you do visit during that time, make sure you have your snowmobiles and skis ready. There are also a couple of cross-country skiing slopes that are super easy for beginners. Aside from that, the park has a total of 13 miles of hiking trails, some of which lead to absolutely spectacular views. It's really the kind of place you want to spend the whole day in, if not just camp in. Red Wing, Minnesota is a town of 16,000 people and it's legitimately one of the coolest towns in the entire state. In fact, the entire town is placed on the National Trust for Historic Preservation because of its impressive architecture and enviable natural environment. That's quite a statement to make. And it's quite true. This town was first settled in the 1850s, and you can still see many buildings from that era in its main street. Red Wing is the perfect city to get those small town vibes while also having a lot to do. There are lots of small, family-owned restaurants located all around the downtown area, along with some 19th century saloons that'll just take you back in time. But you're mostly going to want to spend your time in Red Wing in the outdoors. There are lots of fun outdoor activities to do here, like cycling, golfing, fishing, bird watching, and even skiing. Red Wing is also not too far from Wabasha, so that you can probably cover both towns in a single trip if you wanted to but we do recommend you spend a considerable amount of time in both cities. Hastings is one of the larger towns on our list, but it's still pretty small with only around 22,000 people living here. Hastings is an amazing place to visit at any time of the year. However, ski and snowboard enthusiasts are probably going to want to be here during the winter because it's located right next to some of the best ski resorts in all of Minnesota. The town is usually covered in a blanket of snow for most of the winter, and the locals really know how to make the most of it. At the center of the town is a historic district with all sorts of restaurants, bars, and vintage architecture. Every spring, the town is the site of the Hootenanny Music Festival, where 150 musicians from around the world get together to perform in downtown Hastings. But even if you happen to miss the Hootenanny Music Festival, there's almost always something going on at the Rotary Club Pavilion with concerts, outdoor movies, and more. Aside from that, there's actually a massive waterfall located right in the center of the city. The Vermilion Falls are over 35 feet in height, and they're a great spot to get some pictures. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Do you have a favorite part of the Great River Road? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.